Welcome to gameplay number four of the game, uh, the, um, <clears throat> of the, this is gameplay number four of uh, Terminator Resistance. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on all notifications to stay up to date with all my gameplays. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. And remember, stay, well, still subscribe, like, and con uh, um, I meant, uh, turn on all notifications. Stay up to date. Peace. I hear you have something for me. I do. Commander Baron wanted me to show you how to customize your weapons. Something I've been working on for some time now. You see, your standard phased plasma is in a 40 watt range. However, you can upgrade its damage, shooting rate, or stability using decoded chips. The same ones you've been collecting from fallen terminators. You can do the upgrades yourself. When you're done, go to the quartermaster. I believe he has something for you as well. I'm Private Rivers. You got something for me? I've been told you're using old goggles from the Pacific Division. Those aren't even standard issue anymore. Commander Baron asked me to hook you up with the latest version. These babies come equipped with a high-quality camera. What do I do with them? The idea is that when you reach Pasadena, you'll take pictures of Skynet's offensive installations. When you find them, put the goggles on, then aim and shoot. The pictures will be automatically sent to a military satellite that we hijacked from Skynet. They'll give us the necessary intel to prepare for when the Annihilation Line comes. That's it? That's it. We have a place ready for you here when you come back. Before you leave, take a look and see if there's anything else you need. I can get my hands on almost anything, but I don't normally hand out freebies.
Do you need anything? Can I see your hardware? Anything? Can I see your hardware? Leaving us and going back to Pasadena. Not yet. I need to collect the rest of my stuff from our hideout. Fine by me. Let's go. Please, you need to tell me what happened there. Where's my husband? I'm sorry, I can't talk about that. Please! Jesus, Jacob! We were ambushed. Near the unfinished metro station, and he didn't stand a chance. I'm so sorry for your loss. Oh my god. Thank you for telling me this. Thank you for caring. <clears throat> I don't care what Baron says. This woman deserves to hear the truth. Not knowing would destroy her. Aaron would kill to know what happened to her husband. Patrick! Look, look! Ryan fixed it! Ryan fixed the bus! <laughs> That's great news! Did you help? No. I was there and helping Mark. He's doing much better now. I hear that you fixed the bus. Yeah, finally. What about you? You meet the resistance? I heard about Mark. What happened? It was a close call, but he's on the mend now. And I have to thank you for that. So, thank you. So, what's new with you? I've been ordered to go to Pasadena to collect some intel. Is there anything you need from there? Right now, I don't need anything. But there's something you might be interested in. When we were running away the other day, Colin was supposed to bring something. Boxes of adrenaline, painkillers, and who knows what else. Since he didn't bring anything with him, I'd imagine everything's still there. Those stimulants might be useful to you. When used in small doses, they can improve focus and alertness. If I were you, I'd take a look. About that camp. What do you want to know? How did the machines communicate with you? There was this one machine. We called it Nurse Ratchet. It was designed to look almost friendly. It wore an awful, smiling, rubber human face. At the end of every week, it took the weakest of us for experimentation. My cellmate, Karen, was pregnant. I knew that was a one-way ticket to the grinder, so I had to plan an escape. 
Did Skynet ever notice she was pregnant? Well, we tried to keep it a secret, but when she started showing, they informed me that after the birth, I would have to kill the baby. Otherwise, they would execute the whole cage. The baby came early, and Karen died giving birth. She didn't even get to see her child. I had to take action. Me and one other prisoner took the child, and we got to the disposal room, where we covered ourselves with dead bodies. Then we just lay there, waiting for them to throw us out. And they did. They dumped us outside the camp, ready for the grinder. Did they go after you? We heard an alarm, but we were already far away. They hunted us at first, but they had more important things to do than running after two nobodies with a baby. We ran to protect her, but deep down we were preparing for the worst. Anyway, you're healthy, right? And your bones don't look broken, so stop bothering me. You never told me you had a husband. <laughs> you never asked. Did you know each other before the war? We lived together even before the bombing. I've been dealing with him and his boring stories for over 30 years. I must be getting old. Because I wouldn't mind hearing one right now. Back at the camp, I used to think that the machines kept Peter alive to get me to cooperate. So when there was an opportunity to run, we had to take it. And we did. We ran with this little child that I had started to love. I felt that she was mine. What was her name? Her name was Taylor. Peter said it sounded too manly, so I said, good, we'll finally have a man in the family. But as you know nowadays, no story has a happy ending. She died shortly after. We buried her, and we stopped talking to each other. Eventually, the Annihilation Line caught up with us. We got separated. I ran away. He did too. At least, I hope he did. That's all. You didn't change your mind about joining the Resistance? No. I'm packed and ready to go. You're the one that kept saying that we're going when in fact we're not. Oh, you really pissed me off, I must say. took a bite out of me. I don't remember getting this cut. Yeah, that one's on me. I tried to shake... Is that him? Yeah, that's him. Jacob! Looks like things are finally starting to go our way. I see you got that bus running again. You didn't think I would, did you? Well, don't write me off just yet. I still got it. Anyhow, I got something for you. It's called a termination knife. It's supposed to shut down a terminator with a single stab, so if you're sneaking and you want to take them down silently, well, that's your go-to weapon. I guess you could say it terminates Terminators. Wow, that was almost as bad as Jam. You're going to Pasadena? Yep, I am. I have a mission for you, a secret mission. Super important, probably the most important of them all. What is it? 
Could you bring me my chalk? Chalk? Yeah. It's at my house. The one with the beware sign on the side. Could you bring it to me? I mean, if you could. I did bring you that bullet one time. I'll see what I can do. Cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
sending you the first set of pictures. That's exactly what we need. Move to the second point. Skynet's plasma storage. You have a green light to destroy, destroy any Skynet structures in Pasadena. But keep in mind that is not your highest priority. If you want to save ammo, overloading the main computer at any storage facility will do the trick. <laughs>
father.
the rest huh is that a map to your hiding place Patrick
That should do it. That's the last one. Good job with these Hickses, River. We're one step closer to preparing a counterattack. I'm starting to see why Skynet isn't so fond of you. Now get your ass back to the shelter. Jacob, how is Pasadena? Uh, you know what? Forget I asked. I don't want to know. I'm just glad that you're all right. And how are you doing? I guess I'm a little nervous before tomorrow. Aren't you curious about what happened in Pasadena? No. 
I think I'd rather keep that place in the past. Actually, I have a confession to make. I've never been outside of Pasadena until now. Can you believe that? How's that even possible? With all the people constantly stopping by, there was always plenty to do at the house. I did my traveling through pictures and postcards that wanderers brought with them. My favorite had a little flamingo drinking water from a lake on it. Its long red neck curved like a snake. Patrick's mother gave me that postcard. Hmm. It's funny how I never met my mother, but I was around to see Patrick's leave him. I thought Patrick was your brother. In our house, we were all brothers and sisters. But me and Patrick, we've always had this special bond. Felt what the other one was feeling. <laughs> We'd even get sick together. I remember the day Patrick's mom brought him in. They were both tired and dirty, so we took care of them. Patrick was crying a lot. He was teething at the time. I think that was what scared her away. She just couldn't handle the crying. I guess I'd be scared too. Would you? You seem so composed. I even started wondering if you were a machine yourself. After she took off, I was devastated. But my father said, you need to grow up. You have a brother now. So I burned the postcard. The little red flamingo flew up in flames. And I promised myself I'd never be weak again. But I guess we all need someone we can be weak with sometimes, don't we? Uh, guys, I wasn't expecting to do this, but, uh, I think I'm gonna end the video here, so, um, um, don't forget to, uh, like, subscribe, and turn on all notifications to stay up to date with the latest standing on ledges inside of a video game. Alright, peace.